Meanwhile, one of those schools disrupted Hopewell went back to class today. They were on a two hour delay, but are now back learning. Jessica Gway reports from Beaver County. There was a two hour delay at Hopewell High School one day after students were traumatized, thinking there was an active shooter in their school. Some parents thought it was best for their kids to come back today, while others decided to keep them home to give them time to recover. It felt different for Michael Sauerwine as he handed his children off to the teachers and staff in the Hopewell Area School District. I think it was a little bit of a tough moment for all of us when we just said goodbye uh, at the junior high. Just yesterday, students were scared for their lives after Aliquippa police received a call that there was an active shooter in Hopewell High School. It was really scary. It was pretty scary. I mean, I've never experienced something like that. When I heard it on the announcement, I just felt like scared. All schools in the school district went on lockdown. Sourwine has one child in elementary and two kids in the junior high. A lot of waiting, a lot of anxiety. Uh, my oldest said that they barricaded their door. Like they, he talked about all the filing cabinets and tables and things they put up in front of the door to try to, to keep it closed and keep any intruders out. The district operated on a two hour delay and there are now multiple law enforcement vehicles on campus. Parents have been hugging their kids a little tighter after learning the threat was fake, but they'll never forget the fear they felt. It's a call that you don't want to have as a parent. But it's that like moment of recognizing that hell is now your situation. Just completely helpless. I kept looking at my phone, begging it for information. Sourwine appreciates law enforcement and everyone in the school district. He told his kids to thank them and use the rest of the week to support others who experienced the same trauma. This can't keep happening. We can't keep happening, whether it be hoaxes or like real legit shootings going on. This is this is a just an embarrassment of our country and an embarrassment of we as a people. I reached out to the superintendent to see if any security plans changed or if counseling is available, but I have not heard back. In Hopewell, Jessica Gway, KDKA TV News.